Two new additions could turn an area in Huber Heights into the entertainment district that city officials have been hoping for, providing a wide variety of options for those who want to make Huber Heights their go to destination. Two news reporter Sartaj Singh talked with Mayor Jeff Gore about the economic boom that could be on its way to the city. Sartaj. The city of Huber Heights is set to welcome a new pub as well as a brand new indoor entertainment center to Executive Boulevard, all located within walking distance of a hotel, as well as a variety of food options, and not to mention the already established Rose Outdoor Music Center. The mayor tells me that these additions just show how much Huber Heights has become a destination for everyone around the Miami Valley and beyond. Soon Huber Heights residents will have even more reasons to turn down Executive Boulevard as a new pub and music venue are on their way to the area. More people that come there, the better it is for all the businesses that are there because now it becomes kind of a destination area. The first edition is Dublin 7, which will be owned and managed by Dublin Pub, located in the Oregon District. And a connection through the owner, Steve Tiber, made the location a reality. Susie Tiber, Steve's wife, she uh, is, a, is a Huber resident, a well, long time Huber resident long ago. She graduated from, from Wayne High School, so this is kind of where her roots were. Dublin 7 will be located in front of the True by Hilton Huber Heights and will feature a beer garden as well as historic features from a church. To have them decide that, you know, that Huber Heights is the place they wanted to go by, our, you know, by the Rose Music Center really is just a, a testament to all the great things we have going on in Huber Heights. And another music venue will be on its way to the area. The City of Huber Heights and Music and Event Management Incorporated, also known as Mimi, will be constructing a year-round indoor entertainment center. The idea came after Mimi finished their work into the Andrew J. Brady Music Center in Cincinnati. As the bands and things perform at the Brady, then they can, they can also come up here. So it would be very easy in booking those bands and getting that same type of talent up here. The new venue will be located near the Rose Music Center, but will not directly compete with the venue. Rose will still have bands and performances booked, while the new center handles all indoor events, and the economic impact could be big for the city. Rose generates a million too, you know, in in six months. You know, I think it would, uh, on the upside, a million five to two million dollars in revenue for the for the new center, being that it's going to be operational, you know, all all year round. Now the city says that Dublin 7 is expected to open sometime in late 2025, but the new entertainment center may take a little longer going into 2026. They hope to get everything ironed out in the next few months and will provide details when possible. Live in studio, Sartaj Singh, 2 News.